Twins have a lot to say about that one. We'll see. I think this series is huge. It's setting the tone. On the first pitch of the season, sends one to right. Goodbye. Wow. And as much as the White Sox want right to begin the season, again the 2-2 pitch is crushed high and deep to right field. Back it goes, deep it goes, and gone. That he threw that pitch there, he missed his spot. Locko will be the hitter. Pitch to the center, and that will die for a base hit. Sano will score. Another run score. I have seventh inning, and the pitch is swinging a line drive in the air to right near the line. That's down for a hit. One run is in, two runs score. Garver's in their delayed 2020 open. Open with a 10 5 win over the White Sox. And the 1 0. In the air, deep to left. Backing up now is Jimenez. Still tracking back at the wall. He'll reach up. It's gone. To the right field corner and down for a hit. Avila will score. Donaldson behind him. Polanco flying around. Struck him out. Go two pitch is on the outside corner. Strike three call. Called Cruz against Gio Gonzalez, and Cruz goes down to get it and mashes for the, th the lead. And a 92 on it. And a swing and a miss. Chase something down and away. Good the batter. And the pitch, a swing and a rocket to left, deep down the line towards the corner. Back and gone. Nelson Cruz. I don't want to leave Chicago. I mean, this guy is absolutely unbelievable. Four extra base hits there. And Marwin Gonzalez makes it two touchdowns for the Twins. It's now 14 to 2. For short, and they're going to come home, man. That's a very good play. You have to be sure. You have to be sure. Get it, get it out. A high fly to right field. Fowler back, and that ball is gone. Polanco hitting. And this is what's so good about Polanco because he doesn't swing until he gets a ball. For nice fly. Right field. Retreating is Fowler. Looking up, and that ball is got him. The twin open up the road schedule Friday with a win last week. That's to right center field and down for a hit. Headed for the gap. Cruz delivers with a rise coming around third. Another big two out hit for the twins. They got a low. De Leon driven to right field. Rosario lifts one up and gone. Protecting against that curveball. The ball got in on him, but he's strong, big and strong enough to muscle the ball into left field. You want, isn't it? That's very economical. On the ground, Polanco charges, fires on the run. Good play. And another one, two, three inning for Rich Hill. <laughs> he no absolutely chance. blew Paul no Goldschmidt away. So the Twins make it three wins in a row. Nice one toward the gap in deep right center. Buxton on the run, and he dives and makes a basket catch. So valuable. Not many center fielders get to the ball in the gap in right center like he did and made a terrific diving basket catch on three home run games against the Indians. Continues to torment Terry. On. It's a 4 nothing Twins lead. Him. And here it comes, and that's Johnson. And the 1-2 pitch, he got him. Strike three. And now Hernandez. 2-2, two -two, strike three. Call the fastball, 93. Maeda. Driven to the gap in left center field. That ball is a bullet and gone. Zario hits this ball well to left field. Left fielder tracking Johnson. He'll look up and go. And Eddie Rosario. And his 100th career hit off Cleveland pitching. Mr. Mason. Drilled to the left field corner. It's deep and gone. He's got another. Uh, so I said the first one was tattooed. I guess scalded. I'm going to run out of adjectives as well. This is a beautiful swing on a breaking ball that hung right it kind of inside. Nate Blanco has as good an arm from the funny posi body positions as anybody. Look at this throw across the body in the air to Sano. Look how quickly he gets rid of the ball across his body all the way over in the air. So he's played a lot of third base, stays with that, just goes down to the knees, make sure that he can get down to the ball and keep it above the ground. Do too. Got him. Twins pitching has held the Indians to three runs score. Kind of, and the 3-2 pitch, a drive to left field and deep. Back it goes, deep it goes, and gone. Line, and it bounces one hop off the wall. On it quickly is Rosario as Hernandez will score. Heading for second is Lindor. Good throw by Rosario, and Lindor's out. And a run 
but a perfect strike from the left field corner, out number two. He played that off the... Here's the pitch. He got him. Strike three. Called on a changeup. And for the first time since 2000... Driven hard to center. Tucker is back. And it sails over his head. Cruz will score. Sano will score. High fly to deep right center field. Here's what a walk-off winner looks and sounds like in as they come back from 4 0 to defeat the Pirates 5 to 4. Ball ball right side might be two at eyes. Bluff second one the return from Marwin in time double. Oh, no. over the field. I see it now. It's actually inside the ballpark, and now it's well, I have never experienced this before. But near the Pirate dugout, Gonzalez shading his eyes and Making the catch, both players are okay, and the Twins leadoff man here in the second. Ooh. Well, why waste the first five pitches? When you're going to give up a bullet, you stick out the glove. Six shutout innings, a happy homecoming for Randy Dobb. Near the line, Adrianza into foul territory, runs it down with a backhand snag. Nothing routine about that. Twins had a shift out. Adrian's had to cover a ton of second with a double. And Buxton starts the ninth inning with an extra base. Elvis can do here. Liner into left center field. And the veteran delivers. Buxton will score. High blast to right field. Back and gone. A home run. The Pirates get a couple. But your Minnesota Twins have won six in a row. It's a home run. And Sano's hit a three-run home run. If that ball hit the foul ball, it probably would have knocked it down. That was an absolute laser. The only question was whether it was going to... Ball games and a pitch. That ball's hit high in the air and deep. Long run center fielder. He'll turn around, look up, and go on. Only five strikeout. High fly. Right field. Hit deep. Back to the wall. And it's gone! A home run! It was down in the zone. Watch it slider. You see how it just stayed right over the middle and... Byron puts a real nice swing on it, barrels it up. A little deep, and boy, he... first pitch swing and hits it high in the air. Deep center field, long run, and he's going to look up and go. Left field and deep, going back his cave at the wall, leaping. Oh! And he made the catch! What a catch by Jay Cave! That's a tremendous catch. It looked like the ball was going to clear the no. wall. He caught it right again. Right center field and deep. Byron going back on the track. Jumps at the wall. Makes the ground with both feet. Hit the wall pretty hard, but gets the ball back in for the second out. And the Twins are on the board. Another no-doubter. We saw Solaire's home run. That got out in a hurry, but Duffy reacted. He knew instantly. You see, it's a circle change, but it stays up. Now 3-2. A high fly deep down it? the line towards the bullpen. He got it. And gone. Max Kepler. And a drive right field. Going back is Cordero at the wall. And it's gone. At least tie the game. And Rosario yeah, lifts it to right field. And deep. And gone. A grand slam. Teams in front 4-1. to one. Well, that's how you regain the momentum right there. Eddie sitting on a on ground balls. And most of them not hit with any authority at all. Yes. Here with two outs. Got him. Up and away with a fastball. Rogers finally wins the battle. Jorge Polanco tees off on the first pitch from Lindblom and hits his second home run of the year. Night. And the 1-0 pitch, a swing and a fly ball into right. That's hit pretty well. Gamble back on the track at the wall. Jumps up and that's gone. Day. Oh my. High fly right field going back is Gamble. There's another one for Rosario as well. Two nothing twins as they get some production from the bottom of the order. A long blast to left field. I'm up in the slide. I have been trying to do that for a while. This one he got into. I mean, we don't even know where the ball went. Has reached base. And a line drive into left field. Yelich back. He'll look up and go. A one hand. Out of Buxton. Did deep really? to left center field. What a great at bat for Buxton. He's got another. Buxton with two tonight. Five on the year. But that was a the cap off of a great. Kind of what the, the doctor ordered for the Twins tonight. 
Kayam with a fastball two away. Good fastball by Jake right there. Soler couldn't catch it. Strike three. Swung on and missed another strikeout for Jake. Strike three. And Oda Rizzi, nine up. A drive to left field, it won't matter. Off the facing of the third deck. I, I, I see that, and it just it makes me all grunt out loud. I mean, <laughs> it's just like, oh, oh, oh man. That is just the classic power swing, and he just hit a lit. Second base. Hit down the right field line, might be trouble, not going to be caught if it goes into the corner, and it's fair. Going to one hop the wall, Rosario to second. Cruz scores, and Rosario. That's her to third. Out at second, relay to first, double play. And the Twins win 4-2. Merrifield ready for that ball moving down and in from Dobnak, and Marwin makes a terrific play to get, catch the ball, but then the speed at which he was able to get up and to get an accurate throw. Watch this, a great backhand play, and then no wasted time. Deep to right, it's hit pretty well, and the Twins take the... That's all about approach right there. Just knowing what a guy's fastball is doing, knowing what he's trying to do to you. Say, okay, if that's it, I'm just going to look. The left field, and Rosario makes a sliding catch. They'll get a double play. What a catch by Rosario, picking it off the ground. Left side, out at second, barehanded by a rise, and he turns a double play. Great play up the middle by Luis Sarais, barehanding the flip from Polanco. Executed squeeze play with Vargas scoring from third base. The safety squeeze, and it's a thing of beauty. Out in front of strikeout. Half swing, but he went. Got him on the outside corner. Almost strikes out. The ball hit the left, deep to left, and that ball is gone. Off the facing. They wanted high fastball. Watch where this one is. He wants it high. It's middle just hit. with a perfect strike from the left field corner and the inning ends with an out a blast left center field headed to the bullpen he's done it again I just I, I, every one and the pitch line to right Vargas the catch throws back to first base double play and the ball game is over and the twins win the game so far and it's a got striking on the other four and here it is fan is going to miss on the night on the outside edge struck out five men in a row and there's strikeout number spies the seventh tonight and he set the club record with his eighth straight strike strikeouts got him coming up in the home seventh clinging to a chopper to our eyes, eight no hit innings for Kent, three outs away from just the sixth no hitter in Twins history. Liner to center, into center field. Up the no hitter. Everybody applauding in the Twins dugout. And Liner to right, Kepler with a diving catch. And Jerko came down the line and can't tag and score. What a great catch by Max Kepler. Jerko to be the hero. Slow roller, here comes Buxton. And he's it's safe it's for the Twins win the game. <laughs> All right. So there's your new extra inning rule. Breaking ball, did he go? Right three, says Ed Hickox. That's it. High that fast ball. Up the Ground ball, base hit. And Jeffers in his first big league at bat. It's an RBI single. How about that? Well, they get that baseball and they'll throw it out. This year. High fly. Right center field. Back and I think in right center field. A two-run home run. And the twins lead four to one. Yeah, he didn't know if that ball. Right. Shot over the bag and down the line. Two runs will score. And Polanco glides into second with a two run double. Kind of a right center field. Kepler ranging in, and the Twins finish off the Brewers and finish a five and two homestand. Wow, there you go. 
Got him. Got him with that slider. He chased. Ball four. Nice job there, Akala. And pitching out. On three run homer to the Fountains for Rosario. Number seven on the year. Three batter. Batting left fielder. And he swings and lines one softly back of third base, hit near the line. Wade's going to round first base. The ball's in foul territory. He's going to make second base with And the 3-2. Swung on, hit high in the air, left field. And Gordon, he's just going to turn around and watch this one. Way out of here. How about 458 feet? Closure. And a fastball lookout caught by Dobnik right at his face. Gallagher. Checked his swing. Did he go? Strike. Ninth inning. And the payoff pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. That's fair. Glove by Gonzalez. He'll skip the throw across in time. Right there. Looked like a breaking ball. Eddie stayed back nicely. And with the shift put on, just found that. One two count. And here's the pitch. And that is strike three called inside. Former first round pick. The 0 2 pitch. A swing and a miss. Strike three. And Whistler Gowdings two scoreless innings. One single to fill them up. I don't know that I've ever seen Eddie Rosario get a bunt single, but he got it by the pitcher and they're loaded up. This is what we saw so often yep. last year in ambush, second time. It's working. Uh oh. Oh, that's right. Got him. Nelson Cruz, home run against the Royals this year. He is a monster. Nelson Cruz's home run in the ninth inning. A couple starts to go 115. Hey, hey, hey. And the 0-2. He got him. Strike three and a changeup. The batter. Deep to right field. And Nelson Cruz goes to the opposite. One apiece. They tried to sneak the fastball by him, but Nelson said no way. Breaking ball. What I think he went. How do you lay off that? Yep. It's Lindor. Got him. Five really good innings tonight again. Adder. Hit in the air, right center field, and well, this ball is going to be out of here. And hitter got it with a breaking ball. The Indians get one in the eighth. Got it. Romo strikes out Greg Allen, and then gestures towards the Indians dugout. All right, I believe and then this there hit right at Kepler. The Twins go to Cleveland. Boring chance here. And now the 1-0 pitch, a swing and a line drive, left center field, that's a base hit towards the alley. Sano's going to round third and score, digging. Head 2-0, and the pitch, a swing and a line drive, into right, that's a base hit. Scoring runs in Cleveland as he swings and launches high and deep to right field. Back it goes, deep it goes, and he's ball into right field, deep down the line in the corner. Kepler back, measuring at the wall, leaps up, and fair ball, not a home run. And Cruz 0 for 2. Fly ball, center field, deep. Jones going back, still going on the grass, on the track, at the wall. That's gone, home run. One, oh, there's count right here. And that ball's crushed into left field. Stewart's just going to turn around, and this game's tied up. Hit into center field, look out, might have a chance. Get up in that jet string, Cave back, jumps up, and Cave makes the catch. The center fielder's taking center stage. Cave says to... Polanco deep down to the right field line. That ball's up and gone. And Polanco. Well, looks like he got a fat one strikes. Fastball. And a fastball gets him two down here in the seventh. And he gets him to chase a fast. Right handed batting catcher. Fastball up and in. Gives him now Isak Paredes. Strike three called and Thielbar with a one, two, three, seventh inning. Struggles Luis at eyes. Driven to left center field, slicing away from Robert and down for a hit. Rosario wide. A run will score. And the ball thrown into left field. On his way to third is a rise. He'll be waved around. And Gonzalez goes to second. Time up. A high blast. Left center field. And that ball is gone. A home run from deep drive. Left center field. Buxton to the wall, leaping. Buxton climbs the wall to take an extra base hit away from Encarnacion. A fair ball down the line. Cave scores to tie the game. Arise digging for second. Here's Mazzara's throw, not in time. And the Twins use their bench to tighten. The opener closes it down. Matt Whistler steps. will be my last Twins broadcast. It's been an honor to work with you, Dick. Over the years, the last 25 years, 
God bless you all and be safe. To nothing. He homered off Lopez earlier this season. That was a grand slam. This is a solo shot in the second. And the Twins take a one nothing. Donaldson, after missing all of August, has two at bats, two hits. And now two RBIs, and the Twins cash in and have a 3 0. Bases empty and 1 0. Swing and a drive, left field and deep. Back it goes, deep it goes, and gone. Right now. I think that they're going to give the error to Tim Anderson, who slipped when he got that feed from Moncada, slipped a little bit, then got up. And then there was traffic. It was Sano running to third, Abreu there, also the pitch. Pitch walk. And here's Eddie Rosario to bat, and that ball's hit into center field fairly well. Long run, Roberts. Back on the warning track, jumps up. Back now, still going back, leaping and making the catch right at the wall. On leadoff home run, Polanco. Polanco's fourth homer this season, a leadoff shot, a 3-2 count. Right calf injury. Swing and a drive into center field, that's it deep. Back it goes, deep it goes, and that ball's gone. Put out, and the 0-1 pitch, a ground ball to the right side. This is played by Adrianza, second for one. The return is in time, and everything but routine because Adrianza was blocked by the second base umpire. Shallow left field, Rooker in. And it's going to be Donaldson making a run. Third innings worked. And the 1 2 pitch, he got him's empty. And the 0 2 pitch, he got him strike three. And the 3 2 pitch, he got him strike three. Swinging, and the Twins win the game. Shutting out the Tigers two by a pitch. Driven to left, a base hit. Polanco rounding third. He's coming home. The throw from Stewart is not in time. And Brent Rooker with his first major league hit and run. The characters that were in the Champions Club were taken down because the reflection, the reflection was bothering the, the fielders. The son will be happy. He's got a peanut allergy. And the pitcher ground ball up the middle towards center field and through. Austin Dio's going to round third. It's bobbled by Hill in center. Marwin digging for second. The and the payoff pitch, a swag and a miss. He struck him out and down to a knee. Goes Castro at 98. May strikes out three, and the Twins beat. Strikeout number eight for Maeda. Another three up, three down inning. And the Twins coming to bat. Kenta Maeda has retired 18 men in a row. Deep to left field. Stewart back, and that ball's gone. Took a little time getting out of the batter's box. Slowly, left side, Buxton flying down the line, he beat it! And the Twins win the game. Buxton's blazing speed walks off the Tigers. Yeah, and Buxton celebrated like you know as a runner when you're safe, and he feels like he beat that routine play for everybody else in the league except probably that guy. 2-2, swag and a miss, and down he goes on a breaking And a 2-2, he got him, strike three effect. And the 0-2, strike three, and a drive to center field. Reyes going back, that ball is gone! Brian Jeffers with his first big goal. Every time you see that catcher's glove leak back towards the middle of the plate, this is usually the end result. And real nice swing, head down, drives that ball. Done exactly what we used to see him do. Said he went around on it. So. Order. Chased by Cave and whoa, what a catch! Jake the sidewall makes a great catch to end the inning. 3 2, a swing and a foul tip hung on to by Jeffers, a strikeout. In the third, Donaldson sets. And a scoop at first by Wade. A great play by Lamont Wade Jr. digging up. A high fly left field. Stewart going back and Buxton with an insurance run. In out to left center, his sixth of the season, and the Twins take a 6-2 lead. And the Twins end up winning this series, four game. That's ball poked down the right field line. Cave with a diving catch. A terrific, a terrific play by Jake Cave. I didn't think he had any chance of getting there. Here's the one, two, and hit high in the air left field. Ball, I'm out of a chance. Back goes the left fielder, and it's gone. And now Nelson Cruz, let's run high and deep to right center field. And that ball is gone. High fly to left. Going back is O'Neill, and it is gone. Pitch. And he does. Three strikeouts. Twins win the opener 7 to 3 in St. Louis. I don't believe it. Did you do that again? That's that's one of the best streaks. That's a streak of two, and it's one of the best I've ever seen. Rooker with his first big league. One-two, 
Blasted to left center field and deep on the warning track. At the, it's a 6-4 Cardinal drive pulled to left, and the Twins take a 2-0 lead here in the second. And Bieber has given up his side. That's going to be fielded by Maeda. He'll backhand right there. You see guys flip with their glove a lot. Very rarely do you see them backhand. Out the number nine hitter. Swinging a line drive into left field and deep. Back it goes. Deep it goes. And that's gone. 436 feet. Another laser. 85 elevated about belt high. And now Lindor and Romo going at each other and being separated by the two teams. Up, he gave him a smile, and then Romo says something to him right there, and Lindor responds. Oh, yeah. And here we go. And thankfully, Cooler heads. The Twins win the game three to one. Heard that or not? And the one one a swing and a fly ball into right field and deep. Back it goes. Deep it goes. Only been three for his last 36, but how do you get out of the struggle? Off the struggle bus? The three nothing lead in the second. First homer for the turtle. Now four for nine at the plate, 369. Buxton first pitch swinging, blast off. Out to center field, Buxton going deep. For Rosario first pitch swinging away, absolutely club. Good, the eight, seven, four, twin. Didn't even have to bother. Just gives a little skip. Looks in the dugout. So let's go, boy. Now said no. Lays into one. Out to center. The shields at the wall, and he cannot. That's how it ends. As the Twins wall up five homers he needed last night. Swings and launches into right. That's deep. Nick went on the track at the wall. That ball's gone. Pulled him extremely well. As this ball's lifted in the left field. Hit fairly well, long run left fielder up to the wall, and gone. And Jeffers is the batter. There's a high drive, left center field, headed to the bullpen. It's back, and it is gone. Ash Donaldson will be the batter, driven to the gap. Left center field, headed toward the bullpen again, and gone. Oh. Exactly what you wanted to see from this team at the right time. And Minnesota pulling away. Seven to five, and sweep the weekend series here at Target Field. Going back. Leaping and he does not make the play and crashes into the fence. Buxton, who nearly had an inside the park home run last night, will have one tonight. And the game is tied. He wasn't even <laughs> running as fast as he could until he hit second base, and then all of a sudden that elite speed kicked in. But then to put it back in gear, the helmet came flying. Rosario homers out to right, and the Twins finally take an early lead in Chicago. High fly, center field, sounded good. Robert back at the wall, and it's gone, a home run for Bob. 3-1 pitches, we're gonna fly ball. Center field and deep, back it goes. Robert on the track at the wall, that's gone, a home run. The Twins pitchers end the night, retired last eight games. One, two pitch, a drive to left field and deep. Back it goes, deep it goes down the line. That is fair and gone. He got another breaking ball and he did the same thing with it. A home run to left. Bucks to retake the lead. That's a strike two and one. He's really giving it Bellino. And then this, deep down the left field line, home run as this afternoon. <laughs> he tossed him. They just tossed Donaldson first. Rosario hammers one high and deep to right field. Back it goes, deep it goes, and gone. Field. That ball drilled into right field. Cave will be sent home. Here's the throw to the plate, and he scores. And the 1-0 pitch is swinging a blast into left field and deep. Back it goes, deep it goes, and on to wave. His bat at 115. Drive to right field. Going back is Hayward at the wall. It's gone. Full season baseball. On God. <laughs> Not anymore. A bunt attempt. Barrios eight as Rizzo tried to sneak attack. Barrios looking more like Javi Baez here, like a cat off the mound. Shortstop like actions. Oh my. Less than that. As that one gets over Schwarber into the left field corner. Cave on his way in his second. He's going to cut the corner and head to third. He'll be there sliding safely. In the first. Got him. In the head. On the first pitch, a ground ball to third. Donaldson comes home, and the tag's applied at the... One, two, three, six inning. In good shape right now. He's mowing him down. 
And the pitch. That's a swing. Ooh. And Max Kepler sends a ball well hit out to right and go. The happy zone down and into a left hander. All you got to do is hang run. The next one, two. Did he check it? He went around, and that's going to do it. Sergio Romo weathers a bases. That is Byron's second career leadoff home run. His first was an inside the park of Chris Sale back in 2016, and now leading off against Schubel. Takes him deep down the left field line, and the Twins club. A little playoff swag tonight, courtesy of Josh Donaldson. There's some playoff ropes that Josh bought for the... A high fly deep down the left field line. Garver got it all. And the Twins retake the lead. And then got a pitch, maybe a ball or two higher in the zone and turned on it immediately knew that ball was gone. And that's a good, real good job with the Twins of getting that run back after Stacia came in. Did such a good job last inning. That roll was ready. <laughs> the whole thing. As he rips one high and deep to right field, back it goes, deep it goes, and gone! Garvers put it on, and now Kepler does the same on career home run number one. That poked to center field, down for a hit, and it'll tie the game. K flies around third, and we're even for Max Kepler. To left field, short left field, down for a hit. Rosario will come around and score, and the Twins walk off the Tigers. No score, and the one-two pitch, he got him, and down team for Kenta. Swag and a miss, and down, and the one-two pitch, swag and a miss, tied him up on Reyes Castro, and the one-two, and down he goes. There is Reyes, and the 0-2, and down he goes. Time up, crushed to right field. Jake Cave tees off. Oh, there it is. These guys are going to be fighting over that thing. That's it. One on has been to Maeda. And a swift inning at a bat. Left center and deep to the bullpen. Reyes going back, still going back, and that ball's called six to nothing. <laughs> I love it. It's like a prize fighter after a fight. Blair into left field. Here comes Cave on Cave. Dives and makes the catch. A Superman dive and came up, caught it right in front of his face. Cave out of a great. There is. Cave lifts it to the left. Castro retreats. He's back at the wall, and that ball in Victor Reyes. The one-two pitch. He got him. Strike back to end the game. Deal. Kepler will hope for a bounce. He'll get the bounce. Votto digging for second. Here's Kepler's throw on target. They got him. A perfect play in right field. First playing the carom, and then the to the backstop. And Gonzalez comes in, and he will score. And the Twins deep to left field. Akiyama going back. And that hits the base of the wall. And it's yet another double. Arise has three of them. Into the right field corner. And Arise will just get a single, but he's got a four hit night. And the Twins answer with have been the most complete game offensively we've seen from the Twins in a while. And Duffy picks up another. And the magic number for the Minnesota Twins is up. And a breaking ball. Gets straight down, and that'll bring up Castellanos. Strike three to Castellano. Bouncer to short. How many? One. Two. A double. Field it deep. Going back his cave. He's at the warning track at the wall, and he makes the catch. 410 feet away from home plate. Kino got it. And the 1-0 pitch lined into right field. Reddick going back, still going. That's over his head, and one hops off the wall. Kepler around third. Tony and Diaz is going to send him. Correa's relay to the plate is going to be late. Ke Sending Kepler all the way from first base, sliding that left hand on the back part of the plate before Maldonado coming to the plate. Got him. Reddick like, leaves him load and he threw it up. And Maeda barks at himself. Going to dictate how the bullpen's going to be. Again, the 2 2. Check swing. Did he go? He did. Chases the breaking ball. Michael Brandon. Got him. Big pitch on that score. Whether it's good or or uh, not so much, um, that's a heck of a play right there. Yeah. Sure. Heck of a play. And guys, guys, that right there was an eye pop moment.
from Jose Berrios. An easy one, two, three inning in the top of the second due to that defense by Jose Berrios. Ay, ba, ba. On the day where Roberto Clemente hits 3,000th hit, 48. Not a good matchup for Ray. And he boomsticked one in the left, and that one is over the head of Kyle Tucker, and it goes over his head, just like Reddick yesterday. Marwin Gonzalez is in.